very good. All right, started to work. So uh, we're going to be discussing briefly a very, very wide and a very large and humongous subject, which is digestive disorders. This topic, we can talk about it for probably six months in different episodes and different, very, very complex. These are the organs of the human body. And if you look at those, these are diseased organs, ugly stuff that you do not want to have. If you look at the liver, you see the liver has nodules. If you look at the gallbladder, it has gallstones. Now, if you look at the colon, it has, you know, cysts and pustules and, 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 and all this stuff. So now, uh, and the pancreas, you see the pancreas is the pancreas here. You see the pancreas? It's also disease. This is the stomach for those who do not know the orientation of the organs. And this is the small intestine. And this is the beginning of the large intestine. You see how large intestine is about, uh, it, can, it can be up to six feet long. Large guy, okay? And the liver can get up to here, from here all the way down here. It's a large organ. So if these organs are malfunctioning, and we're going to be talking about this in a second, why do they malfunction? We can be in deep trouble. Would you, would you all agree? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, so now we're going to ask these questions. These are on all of people's minds all the time, whether you think of them or whether you hear somebody else asking these questions. So how often do you ask yourself, why do I feel bloated? Okay, everybody asks this question. Why does the food sit in my stomach like a cement block? I eat, I don't digest. Many, many patients tell me, that's jolly, I'm not digesting. If I eat great, how come I'm not losing weight? Okay, things like that, okay? This heartburn is killing me. We had this uh, case yesterday about a 78-year-old man. He came in to tell me, Dr. Jody, I, I want to kill myself because anything I eat, I feel like fire and it's hitting my neck, it's hitting my, my vessels. The man wants to kill himself. He cannot eat anything because of the heartburn. Mm. I have horrible gas and belching. Why? Why do I have this? Okay, I, uh, I eat great, but I'm constipated. You hear this all the time, huh? I eat like a bird and I gain weight. Everybody says, everybody they tell you, okay, uh, you know what, the best way to lose weight, uh, don't eat or eat something little. No matter what I do, I cannot lose those pounds. You, you hear all the questions, right? Familiar, okay? I get terrible stomach cramps every time I eat. My stomach this John, is killing me. What do I do? What do I do? I, eat, uh, I take, uh, you know, uh, uh, acid pills and tum tum and all these all these all these guys. Okay, uh, why do I feel fatigued after I eat? How many people do you know that when they have lunch, that sit they are in a coma? Okay, I'm gone. It's horrible. Okay, it seems that I cannot get rid of my hemorrhoids. Uh, why do I feel my abdomen swollen? Okay, we have many patients they come to see us and even even you know um, uh, adults and teenagers. I had this patient. She came in to see me, she's 22 years old, and, and if she drinks water, her abdomen swells. Very, very ill. 22 year old, complete digestive disorders, okay? Why do I get a rash and feel itchy? How many people, how many among you, or you've heard others, that's Johnny when I eat, okay, I itch all over, oh my God, my face, and I, I kill myself, okay? Why do I wake up exhausted, okay? How many among you or your friends uh, you just wake up and you say, oh my God, did I sleep? <laughs> I didn't sleep, as if I didn't sleep. Exhausted, tired. Let me see if this makes sense to you. Some patients come and tell me, Dr. Jody, I'm allergic to lettuce. I'm allergic to uh, uh, beets and carrots. Doesn't make sense, so we're gonna, we're gonna uh, look into the mechanisms of that. How often do you say, why does my, my urine have a foul odor? I get a stabbing pain in my abdominal region around my back. And my doctor told me there's nothing wrong. Okay, patients come to me, that's a jolly. I have a cruciating, a excruciating pain right around here, shooting to my back. I've seen nine doctors and they told me, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't make any sense. I have been seeing one doctor after another for years. And all they tell me is take, or th take this or that pill. And you should be all right. Why do I feel more sick? I hear these questions, ladies and gentlemen, every single day, every single day, okay? And the reason why we're having this uh, discussion today is for you to gain 
break through knowledge and for the world to understand that there are answers. Not everything is a pill and not everything is a bag full of supplements. I take 30 supplements a day, Dr. Johnny. Look at me. I'm healthy. Wrong. Wrong. My doctor told me I should stay on that drug all my life. Does that make sense to you guys? No. Not at all. Okay. How often do you ask yourself, my blood test shows, shows normal. You go to the doctor, oh, look at you, no problem. Oh, you have a little bit of cholesterol, a little bit here, a little bit there. No problem, you're good, go home. But I feel ill. I don't feel good. I cannot go out and enjoy a meal with my friends. Now, if life is not enjoyable, ladies and gentlemen, why are you living? Why do you live? In pain? No. Or in, 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 uh, in uh, congestion? What kind of life is that? I am depressed. These are the words I hear every day. These are the words of patients, people like you, that they come to my office. I feel depressed, medicated, I'm confused, frustrated, and getting worse. Everybody tells me, I just can't take this. I personally had to suffer with a lot of conditions about 20 years ago. That's why this care I provide comes on a very personal level and it's very passionate to me. And we're taking the science to the highest levels that it can provide service, quality service to humankind, changing their lives. Various digestive disorders, we're not gonna go over these, but just look at them, all right? Just look, they can be hundreds and hundreds, gallstones, gas, heartburn, I mean, we're gonna, not gonna go over these, okay? Malabsorption, celiac disease, gallbladder, pancreas, just, just look at those, okay, and on and on, on. diverticular disease, okay, belching, rectal prolapse, okay, rectal bleeding, chronic diarrhea, intestinal obstruction, and a lot more. I mean, the list can be like, what, 100, 200, whatever it is, endless, but we just put the most common here for you to understand. And you know, if not you here, somebody else has more than one, three, or five problems. What happens is that you get into various types of medications which are used for various digestive disorders. Before we go into this, we're going to take a quick break. So hold your thoughts. All right? <laughs> the last section we're talking about is the many, many uh, uh, symptoms from the uh, from digestive disorders. And we said that there's a lot more. Now, uh, most people's solution for that, or they go to, you go to your doctor, and they load you up on drugs. Now, how, okay, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? And this is, uh, this is, you all know this, okay? And we're not here by any means trying to uh, uh, put down or by any means at all any drug or any medication. They all have their place at a certain time for certain conditions. But what we're saying is this. How many of you uh, observe the amount of uh, uh, medication ads on TV. <laughs> you all know, huh? Well, we're, not, we're not saying anything like, uh, okay. And, and it's about what, 197, or I don't know, and on different stations. And what do they all tell you? Okay, now they all tell you, take your purple pill, pink pill, green pill, yellow pill. I mean, it's, 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 it's crazy, it's going, by, it's going by colors because the names are, people can't remember them. So look at this. It's, it's, it's a basket full of, uh, of drugs. So you keep taking those, you keep taking those, you load yourself with side effects, and you're down the drain, okay? So, these are the, uh, some of the serious side effects, okay? We're not gonna go over everything, but just real quick, okay? Uh, bone pain, seizures, uh, intestinal bleeding, uh, vomiting, uh, jaundice, uh, liver damage, aggression, anxiety, okay, confusion, depression, uh, loss of appetite, uh, sleeplessness, and on and on, headaches, heartburn, you know, th and the list goes on and on. Look at this. I mean, we're just going over these quickly because, you know, it's just a uh, skin rash, severe skin, and believe it or not, many, many more. I mean, we can put like a hundred uh, conditions, okay? Every uh, drug, regardless of its nature, has between six, seven, could be to 30, 33 side effects, regardless of any. And they tell you this on TV. It's not me saying this. They tell you, okay, if your heart stops or if you're dead, stop taking it, <laughs> or something like that. 
okay, if you have seizures or if you, whatever, I mean, they tell you, right? I mean, you hear this all the time. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Life and death, what does that mean? Uh, I, do, I do not want you and the world to misunderstand what I'm saying. Medications are necessary if it's a life and death situation. If there is an infection, a virus, something that requires immediate chemical intervention, but you do not take drugs to correct your digestive disorders. You can do that. You just, you just take it transient, okay? I want to kill a bug. It's a, it's a resistant bug. It's killing my intestine, whatever it is, or my liver. I take that drug, I killed it, and I'm done. You don't keep taking it and you, and you say, okay, I'm going to stay on this all my life. And I feel good. You're not going to do that. That's not going to happen.